Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. I'm all loaded and ready to go. Have the nice red kayak. Uh, but we might be uh, having to make a change of plans. The original plan is to go do some offshore action. Uh, today is like gorgeous, gorgeous, full, just blue skies, no wind. Um, it's 10 and under, even down to the 0.5 and under. Uh, but then I got notice I'm getting a delivery day uh, today for uh, all about the bait. Uh, it's a pretty big order. It's about 20,000 four inch paddle tails. Uh, I didn't know they were even coming. So I'm kind of stuck here waiting. So uh, I've got to see what we can do. So we might have to alter our plans, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, UPS finally showed up. Uh, it's a little bit late, about 2, 2.30ish. So the offshore thing, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it but uh, I see a lot of flat skies out. So uh, we might do some inshore stuff. I might make a run out to the, the outside islands, uh, just get away from the people and the, the other fishermen and stuff. Everybody seems to be right on the inside. Uh, the other thing is finally, finally you can say this is finished. And that is because bam, the offshore rig is uh, registered and legal now. So I got all my numbers, got my tags. So we're good to go. So let's take advantage of this beautiful weather. Flat sky, there's a flat sky on the other side of there. Flat skies here. I probably saw about 10 flat skies on the other side. So let's get on out of here. All right, we made it out here. We're at uh, East, Bahan, ba East Bahia Key. So I'm just checking out the situation. This is actually kind of different today because uh, it's high tide. I've actually never been out in the back here where I hit a high tide. So that's going to make uh, the flat stuff a little bit tougher. Water is still a little bit dirty uh, from the constant winds from the last week. So it'll be a little bit for them to kind of clear up. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can pull out of here. A lot of weeds on this side, but I think the other side might be better. Well, right now with the high tide, the flats are like three feet deep. So can't do too much. I'm going to have to try to find some... Uh, normally really really flats and then find some thinner water well i seem to have come on to the like central life area in this zone so like got all the uh, juvenile kudas lined up there got all the big sharks kind of just hanging out there there's snappers and stuff here more kudas they're just hanging around here so i'm just kind of hanging out and see uh what comes around. Nice to see a school of bonefish roll through here. Guy just hanging out right here in the current, take a nap. It's a good spot. What are those coming there? Those look like chubs. Problem with it, there's so many kudas. Oh! No, no. Can't get the bait down because all those kudas.
Look at all the permit. There's a bunch of permit right there. Oh, while I was trying to release that uh, CUDA, there was about five or six permit just swarm in that area. They didn't want to leave until I dropped anchor and scared them. Ah, oh, man. They came back. I was screwing with this stupid CUDA thing again. For some reason, they like it right here, so... This will be a perfect test for the Schmino weighted weedless so let me convert over so these are the weighted uh, soft plastic uh, hooks here they come with the uh, um, corkscrew uh, bait holder already set up so we're just gonna stick it in there start twisting it get it started there it goes and then just try to keep that uh, centering pin going in straight and then the rest of it will follow. Okay, and then we wanna make sure that it's angled perpendicular so the hook goes right where we want it to, there. So I'm gonna open up the belly, run it through to the top. And there we go, so we're rigged uh, weedless and we've got the weighted to get it down where these permit are gonna be looking for it. And that's our rig. Now these are perfect conditions for the weighted and weedless. You can see how much weed's coming through here. So I throw and open a standard jig head, plus the bottom is weedy, broken bottom, so it'll be easy to get hung up there. Uh, so this will allow me to just basically get it it still drifts kind of down but uh, get it down where those uh, permit will be uh, looking for the uh, crabs and crustaceans and shrimp that are buried under these rocks and these little sandy patches right along the edges I just got to make sure I don't throw it at any of these kudas little turtle sleeping hey little sleeping turtle Hanging out in that little current break. Got his head tucked underneath the rock. Oh, snoring. All right, won't bother you. These potholes here are good for the uh, permit as well. I think we scared that school off though. Yeah, I wasn't having much luck uh, running around the island because the uh, water's high, lots of weeds. Have this kind of haze going on today so uh not the best conditions for sight fishing however i did find the kind of uh a little underwater peninsula that jets out here so it's uh pretty thin and you can see basically where it runs off the edge there so uh, i'm just gonna follow this along see if i can see some bonefish permit tarpon tailing along the edge or whatnot and then i'm making my way to the back to the launch then I might, uh, if I catch the evening sunset, I might go on the Atlantic side and uh, stick around, see if I see any uh, rolling uh, big tarpon. There's permit. They stand the hole right there, freaking there. Big old ones. Dang it. I knew when I saw this sand spot, I should have stopped. Oh, crap. I knew they would be here. Dang it. Knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Ah, uh, well. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, uh, well. We'll hang here. There's another pocket there. You can kind of see that kind of uh, rough water there. That's another spot they'll be. Dang it. I went from the spot I saw those permit to the other slot and then as I was leaving I saw it tailing right back in the original spot so 
came way up current. I'm gonna kind of drift back in there. Hopefully I didn't scare him as I motored out here, but I was pretty far away. But yeah, I saw a couple of them tailing. All right, I saw him tail again right over there. I am up wind and up current. I went ahead and dropped anchor. So I get the kayak turned the direction that it's gonna stop. I saw where he's at, so I'm gonna try to just shift Drop anchor, shift, and just kind of slowly move in on them. There it is over there. All right, I'm gonna drop the anchor here and just kind of watch them for a little bit. See if there's any pattern that they're utilizing. All right, stop. That one rolled up over there. So they're swimming in this pocket. That's the sand kind of cut out. It goes along there. I know the one I saw over there was like really big flag on it. So we'll see if what they're, they come up again. They seem to be pretty happy. Uh, I saw one tailing over there. That's a pretty big one again. So they're working that edge there. Probably that three or four I saw earlier. Hopefully he's not taken off that way. Shoot, I'm seeing uh, two of them way down there. There, that one just rolled right there, tailed. They're working their way this way, that'll be good. Those might be actually different ones. I haven't seen any of this guy show up anymore. It's a really big one. These didn't look so big. Yeah, there it is again, just popped up. Just hard to go across because there's just so much current ripping through here. So I have to see which way they're going. Oh man, look at this freaking field of weeds. They're already spooking, spooky enough, so I bet you that just puts them on edge. I haven't seen anything tailing since this thing moved in. Ah! Well, this isn't going to work. It's not stopping. I gave it another 20 minutes and it's still just weeding up as far as you can see. Ah, oh, I just needed like 10 more minutes. I would have gone after those permit. Tailors even. All right, now it's going to be, I don't even know how I'm going to get back because it's just going to be weeds. All right, Mother Nature giving me the finger. Fishy's tailing. Not the right species, but uh, it's a good sign. We're on the Atlantic side now. Had to get away from those weeds. So uh, I'm over here. I think this is Money Key. Hey, get out of here. Uh, so I'm going to kind of just see if I can see any tailing activity. And then the channel's right over there. So uh, maybe see uh, tarpon rolling and then chase after them. Ooh, nice tailor, just wrong species. I could see a lot of stuff tailing over there, over there, so a lot of activity up here right now. Got a little bit of sunlight. Oh, oh shark again. Yeah, more things tailing over there. That looks like a ray. Those I don't know. And over there I don't know. There comes another one over there or something. I don't know what that is there. Oh, turned around. Spooked it. That's a shark way over there. Oh, he's still there.
So here's the Schmino with the weighted weedless. Tell me that is not a shrimp. Totally weedless. <laughs> Where's the fishies at? We've got a little bit of sun left there a little bit of light so uh let's see if the kudas will hit a kuda tube at sunset all right Let's see if there's anything in this channel here. Oh, oh! Cut me off. God dang it. Cut me off. At least I got to see it. Yep. Dang it. Alright, I think I saw a permit tailing over there. Well, this is the prototype that I was needing to test. Permit, permit. Oh. Saw something tailing over there. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, whoa. oh, tarpon <laughs> on the cuda tube. <laughs> Tarponated on the cuda tube. Come on up and jump. Nice. Why is my anchor dragging? It's too deep here. Tarp in on the Cuda tube. <laughs> oh, broke it off. Oh no, it just popped off. <laughs> Uh -huh. Perfect. Drag a little too tight. Nice. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, I think it kind of represents a sample of what my spring summer fishing will be like. Uh, I'll ship more towards open flat water, uh, chasing uh, bonefish, permit, and then uh, going after the tarpon as well. So basically the grand slam fish. Uh, I'll also be doing a bunch of other stuff, but that kind of the keying in on those will be what I'll enjoy doing. Um, talking about sneak uh, peeks at things, uh, what I'm working on is the brand new Schmino. Uh, still need to do a full release on that, but uh, you're getting to see a little bit of testing done with it. And that is also adding the weighted soft plastic jig hooks. Um, these I've got in two sizes right now and I'm getting a third in and then I'll do a full release on those as well. So kind of a sneak peek. Um, I've got this uh, three gram version, which is perfect uh, made for the uh, Schmino four inch bait there. Then I also have a two and a half gram, uh, which I've got made for my uh, four inch flukes. It's a little bit shorter profile there and fits this body a lot better and it's not as heavy since this is a smaller bait compared to the Shimino there. And then I've also got a two gram version, uh, which is coming in for a brand new bait. <laughs> I'll give you a sneak peek of that. Uh, I'm gonna be having a line of glass minnow baits, a uh, little three inch thin. Uh, these are actually built in with the uh, slits in the 
back in the bottom for our rigging weight list. So I'll have that right now, just the standard 2X strong mustads. But I also will have that 2 gram weighted version uh, specifically for this tiny bait here so that you'll be able to do some bottom bouncing as well. But uh, that's my uh, glass minnow. I'll have it in uh, three different colors. We've got the uh, black on the silver flake, we've got uh, black back with the gold flake, and then a uh, pearl back with the silver flake there. So those are my uh, glass minnow colors. So I'll be releasing that eventually sometime soon, but uh, you can check those out as well. Uh, also the uh, Cuda tube, or I should call it the tarpon tube I'm using, is actually a new version I'm coming out with uh, that we're playing with. Um, this is the baby Cuda tubes. I'm adding treble hooks to it as an option. Um, as I told her earlier, if you watch the video, I'm going to become the uh, Cuda tube king. And the way I'm going to do that is going to have the most available uh, options in Cuda tubes. So I'm targeting to have around 60 different variants of Cuda tubes uh, when I'm done. So getting there pretty quickly though. Uh, this version here is adding the trebles, uh, which is different, 3 must mustad trebles, and then also doing an extension of the wire to make it longer. The finalized version is actually even longer than that by about an inch, and that's going to prevent those quick bite-offs by having the, um, the swivel just being right at the end of the rubber there. Get too many of those um, fish just slashing at the front half of the bait and just cutting the line off right there and I just don't even feel it and the, the, the lure is gone. So I'm giving it an extra couple of inches uh, that'll prevent those bite offs since they'll be going after the body and not really seeing that wire and swivel sticking out so they'll miss that and then uh, not cut me off. Also uh, working out with uh, weighted versions, the single and the double weights as well. So those will be coming out soon since I did sign off on the finalized version. But I uh, got so much new stuff. This is all new stuff that i am got to put together, release, videos, pictures, everything. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.